Hi, this is Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today, this is gonna be a crazy session because in my mind, I kind of have an idea of what I wanna do. Um, it's a little bit different than what I normally do, which is I go, I record my design space tutorial at the end. So after I've already made it, after I've already made changes, so that I know exactly what I'm gonna give to you. But in this case, I'm gonna show you kind of like how I think of things and where I go to search for stuff. So this is gonna be on the fly. I'm gonna see how it works. <laughs> All right, so I wanna do the number one, a 3D um, number. So this is the file that I've been using. I love it. It's from Nomara Quintella from Etsy. It may seem a little pricey at first because it's $18 and I don't get paid in any way for using this file, but um, I really do like it because it's thick. It gives you a lot of room. It's stable. And so you have, you can um, add a lot of your designs and make it really fun. So it's just a great file in general. Anyway, I'm gonna be using the one. I'm gonna be creating an internal offset. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So I wanted to show you this and then let's go into Inkscape. So in Inkscape, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to file and we're gonna import and I need to go get my one, right? So um, let's see, it's always, it's here. It's the cut file and I need to find my one. So, uh, oh, perfect, the number one. So I'm gonna double click on it and just click okay. So here is my one. The only thing that I am really, oh, and you know what? It always comes in kind of blank, so I'm just gonna put a color so that we can see it. All right, so the only thing that I'm really interested in is the actual number one. All these tabs, I don't care, because I'm just creating the internal offset. This is just gonna make it look prettier. Um, part of our design like um, aesthetics. All right, so I'm gonna make this bigger. Just notice that this works just like design space. You have a lock button. This is currently unlocked, right? So I'm gonna lock it because I wanna make it bigger, but I want it bigger proportionately. Okay, so here's my one. Um, I am gonna go, and right now the whole image is selected. I wanna click in an empty space so that nothing is selected. I'm gonna hit the paint bucket. I'm gonna pick a different color. And here, I'm going to shrink it. So when you're shrinking, you need your negative sign in front. Um, so I'm gonna shrink it by 10, okay? So watch what happens. I'm gonna click on this one so you can see how much it goes in, okay? I'm gonna show you on this one what 20 looks like because then we can just flip the image and see which one we like more, okay? Um, so click on the empty, or the arrow and this is selected because it was the last thing that we touched. So we wanna click in the empty space so that nothing is selected. Paint bucket, pick a different color, and this time let's do negative 20 or negative 15. Let's see if we like negative 15 more. We're gonna click here, and you see it's a little, the line's a little bit thicker. I think that's all that I want. So now I'm gonna click on the arrow, um, you know, I guess we should do one more just in case, just in case we want negative 20. All right, so empty space, we've already clicked on it. Paint bucket, a different color, and this time negative 20, so we can kind of see. I'm gonna go and click it over here. So that's how much it goes in. Personally, I feel like we start losing what the one looks like. I don't like the way this looks, but anyway, let's just click on the arrow, grab everything, and click path, up oops, path, object to path, file, save as, and I'm gonna save it as one internal offset. Okay, let's go into design space. All right, new project, upload, upload image, browse, and then we're gonna bring in our file. So it was the number one and it was an internal offset. So did I already pass it? Well, I think I did. Hold on, oh there, one internal offset. All right, save and then we wanna click on it and insert image. So here is our one, I am doing a Grinch theme. So. First, let's, re let's see if we need to resize anything. Right now, our, our number one is about three inches. That's way too small for what I want because I wanna make this as big as I can. So 
The way I would do this is I would ungroup it and ungroup it again. You wanna ungroup it so that the individual layers, okay, perfect. I'm gonna grab these two items and I'm gonna rotate it 90 degrees. I want it standing up because this is driving how big it is, okay? So let's grab all of these right now, align bottom so that they're all even, okay? So this right now is at 4.7 inches. Technically, I can grab all of this and the largest that I can go on my sheet is 11 and a half inches, right? So I'm gonna change this to 11.5 and you want to make sure, I'm gonna just zoom out for a second so that we can see everything. You want to grab all of it to resize, otherwise your tabs won't fit on your one. So the way this works is this is our bottom one, right? And then our tabs go in the middle so it's gonna create that space and then the one is gonna go on top. So it's like the, the one is like our sandwich, our bread, and then these little tab things, they're gonna be sitting up and it's gonna be like this thick, and then we're gonna have the, the top one. So it'll stand, it'll be 3D, okay? All right, so here's our 11 and a half. This is as big as we want it, and we're good. So let's start working on this. All right, so here's our two tabs, nothing to do with that. Now. The other thing is you, the file comes with um, like indicators for you to know where to put things. So this little triangle corresponds with this triangle. So this, this piece goes along here, but obviously this is our longest piece. It's gonna be for here. So uh, to me, I don't need these little um, pieces. So I'm just gonna delete it. I'm gonna go over here, grab it and delete and delete because I feel like this triangle has to go here because I know this long piece has to go here which means this piece is right here. And then this is my second long piece. It has to go here. So it kind of just fits in. Here are our ones and here are our offsets. So I am, I am tempted. Let's flip this guy. I go to flip and why won't it let me flip? Oh, there. I want to flip horizontal. Okay, so I'm tempted to let's put this in the back, arrange, send to the back. I am tempted to use both of these. Oh, you can barely see it. You know what? I'm just gonna use this one. I'm gonna delete this one, okay? All right, easy peasy. Um, I wanna do this in gold. Um, so I'm going to change the colors just so that in my mind, I kind of know what I want. So I want this in like a gold shimmer paper. Then I'm going to do, actually, maybe I'll do that as my gold glitter, gold shimmer paper, and then we'll design the rest. Okay. So let's make this a little bit bigger for now because we don't need to see the tabs. So let me scoot this over. We don't need to see this either. So let's ungroup this for a second. This bottom, this is our back layer of the one. We don't care. And we don't need to see the tabs either. Those are all done. Now we're designing this, okay? So let's move this to the back. We know this is how our one's gonna look. This is my Grinch theme. So I want the Grinch hand to come here. I want it to the ornament to be hanging down here and I want presents here. I think that's what I want. All right, so let's go to images. And I have a Grinch hand that I bought from Etsy. So I'm gonna type in Grinch and there is my file. Okay, this is the one that I want because see, it already has the offset. I'm gonna insert my image. So the same way that we did in Inkscape, you would bring in your image, which I have this image here. So I kind of want the, the hand to be like this. But I want to be able to see this one. So I want to make this, does that look, let me see. I guess if this pops out a little bit, it's too big. I want to be able to, to see that this is the number one. I'm unsure where to put this hand. 
maybe like this, then you can see it's a one. Okay, we'll have to figure that out in a second. All right, and then I want presents. So let's go to images and let's bring in presents. And maybe even a Christmas tree. All right, what I'm looking for though is I want one that has an offset like this. This has an outline. So this is something that we could work with. So I kind of like that. So let's click on that. And let's see if we have any other ones. This has an offset, but I don't really like that. Um, let's just scroll a little bit to see what we have. Um, this has an offset as well. I don't love it, but we kind of want variety. So what is this? That's a draw. I don't, I don't like drawing. <laughs> um, let's see, what else do we have? I won't look forever, I promise. I just wanna see if there's a few more options that we have. Um, and I wanna do this in cardstock with different colors. So that's why I'm kinda of looking for layers. I like this. Okay, so let's, oh, and this one, okay. Let's insert all those and see what we have. And I almost think that we could do a tree. Actually, there's not that much room for presents down there. So let's see what we have. Yeah, these, let's see, two inches by one. Yeah, we won't have that much room, so maybe Um, I kind of like, this still looks like a one to me, like this. Okay, so I like, I like those. So let's just delete these. That's going to be our one. So with the Grinch hand though, I feel like I need, let's slice this off right here, okay? So... Gonna bring, I want to make the hand bigger, but I want the ornament to come down over here. So let's see if if we slice it right here. So the let's see what the hand looks like. Let's click on this. So we can slice the outline and this black off. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. So we can only slice two things at one time. So we're gonna be slicing this in two stages. Let's do the red and our square and it didn't let me do it so hold on i think i need to ungroup this so let's grab this and ungroup and let's see where our hand is okay so we want this hand and the square and we're going to slice okay then we want Let's bring in another square. And we wanna keep it kind of in the same spot. Okay, so we have our square and then we want our black image right here. So we're gonna hit shift and grab this and slice. So I think that we can now re resize everything. Okay, so let's look at this, what do we have? So we can get rid of one because one's a duplicate. Here's our off, oops, no. This is our offset, right? So we wanna keep those two together. We can get rid of this. And what is this? Oh, this is part of the hand. Okay, so this, let's see. All right, so I think we're good. This is, um, we can get rid of this. All right, so now let's put this back over here. On this one, let's go, why is this? Oh, I need to ungroup it. 
Let's actually look at this image for a second too. Let's zoom in really big. Okay, so here's our hand. I want our hand, the fingers, I want this to be one piece. So let's see if I can zoom in anymore. Okay, so at 200, perfect, we can see a little bit better. Let's bring in some circles and we're gonna, um, we're just gonna weld these little green fingers so that the green is one piece. Okay, I'm gonna unlock it, make it a little bit thinner. Okay, so that's gonna connect. I'm gonna duplicate that little piece and then I'm going to flip it on its side and get those two fingers. Okay, so I think that looks good. I'm gonna grab this and, oops, Okay, so I just want the hand, and then hit the shift key, this one and this one, and weld. So from the hand being three pieces, it's now one piece, and it looks like I need to add a little bit more to make it more stable. I don't want this to be thin. So let's do this, unlock it, make it teeny tiny. We just need to add a little bit more to strengthen this little piece. Let's duplicate that. Same thing right here because it's looking kind of thin. And I'm gonna flip it over this way. Okay, so now let's grab this. All right, and weld. Ah, so this is okay. I'm going to um, change it to green. Why is my, oh, uh, we can change that in a second, but let's contour. There's like a little dot right there that we don't need. So let's do that. Did it hit it? Yeah, we don't need these little pieces. Let's get rid of them. Okay, now this isn't three pieces, right? So let's duplicate. And one more time, we're gonna separate them into three pieces. So let's contour, and we're gonna get rid of these two pieces. So we just have the hand, okay? I'm gonna put the hand back in here so that it gets resized appropriately, okay? Then on this one, let's go to contour, and let's get rid of, let's hide all, and we want the cuff, we don't want the hand, oops. So here's the cuff, and we're gonna change the cuff to red. So, well, hold on, let me undo that. And I'm gonna change this outline. Let's change the outline to gold, just so that we can see that better. Okay, then this one, we're gonna contour, and we wanna hide all. We want the circle, and we don't want the hand. So here's our circle, and that is our red ornament. And that actually goes down here, so we don't even need that over there. Okay, and then this cuff goes right here. And this cuff as well, I'm going to weld it right here. I don't want two pieces, so let's bring in another circle and let's weld that together. Make this smaller, oops. And we can unlock this and make it a little bit slender. Okay, so let's bring it down here, turn it over, get it like right there. Okay, so I'm gonna grab this and weld. So now it's one, I don't know why it looks like that. <laughs> it shouldn't look like that. I think it's just a glitch in design space right now, but that's okay. All right, oh, actually we can go to contour, let me see. Weird. That little piece, okay. Let's re-weld that, because it's not, it's showing as two pieces even though it's not. Let's see if we can weld it again. And sometimes with design space, you know, maybe we just need to save this and do it after we bring it back. It does that sometimes. All right, so let's weld it and see if we get a better result this time. Yeah, it's not doing it, so it's okay. I'm going to, in the meantime though, let's save this and see what happens. Save one Grinch. 
Okay. Did it work? Okay. All right, so now let's zoom out. I want to group this together because I want everything to move as one and be resized as one. So I kind of want to do, I want to do it so that you can still see that this is a one. I don't know if you would know that that's a one. Maybe do I do something like this? Would you know that's a one? In my mind, this was gonna be so good. The hand was gonna be perfect for this one. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Maybe we did something like this. That looks like a one, right? And then we grab this ornament and we can make the ornament bigger. And maybe this hand needs to be a little bit bigger. I kind of want it to go to the edge. Does that look like a one? That looks like a one, right? Okay. And then let's group this together. And we want to, we can have this hanging like this. We just need a string. Um, and I'm wondering if we even connect it. If we have it like this, then the ornament can spin. I think that would be really, really cool. So actually, let's see if I can, I want to, I want this to kind of blend in right there. Okay. Do we have our design? I feel like that's a lot. That's a one. It looks like a one. It's got the Grinch and you can do whatever wording you want here. So I wanted to say thank you. So this, I'm prepping for my 10K followers. I'm at 9,000 today. And so one, one more thousand will come in a month, I think. So I want to do 10K and it's um, my top three videos. So the one is going to be the Grinch. Um, I have Little Mermaid and I have Butterflies. Those were my top three videos that got me to, that will get me to 10,000 um, subscribers. So I wanna do the, the one is the Grinch, the zero is going to be the Mermaid, and then the Butterfly is gonna be the K. So it'll be 10K with the three themes. And I think this looks really good right now. So I'm, now let's just change our colors. So we, um, I want this outline of the Grinch to be the same outline as the, as the one. Um, do I want, so I gotta think about my colors. Okay, then the ornament, I feel like it needs a little piece up here. So let's bring in a little circle. So we're, creating an outline right now, a little bit of an outline. I'm gonna flatten this a little bit. Something like this. Okay, so I'm gonna grab the circle and I'm gonna grab shift and grab this piece right here and weld. And that's gonna be our out background of the ornament. So let's bring this to arrange, send to the back. It go to the back okay um so that so let's start working on our colors that's gonna match the outline of the Grinch hand then we have a black outline of the actual ornament and then we have the red ornament um I don't think I want a red ornament I think I want I want it to match with this Okay, um, and then I want wording. So in the text, I'm gonna put, thank you. I think I 
didn't want it in cursive though, so let's see. Oh my goodness, hold on. Okay, so I'm gonna pick a pretty font. Um, let's do Hanaberry Coo. It's one of my favorites. And it is from Cre oh, Creative Fabrica. And I'll show you in a second. What's cool about this font is it still looks whimsy and delicate, but it actually is it's still really thick and cuts perfectly. So it didn't change my font. Okay, there we go. So let's um, make it big so we can see it. Now, normally if I have a lot of text, I will not stay in design space to do it. I would do it in Inkscape or Font Lab Pad. But in this case, it's just a few work, a few letters. So I'm gonna ungroup it. I'm gonna manually move this stuff, which is like usually I don't want to. Now I wanna try to connect all my letters so that it's easy to deal with. And I kinda want this to bounce a little bit. So I don't want it straight because I don't want to I don't wanna to have to worry about it being completely straight. This looks like it's meant to like bounce up and down. It's all good. Okay, so think is good. Let's scroll over and see what you looks like. Ah, moved it too much. Okay, here we go. So maybe I'm gonna to have to get rid of the exclamation mark and just do thank you. So now we're gonna weld it. May get rid of this exclamation mark. Okay. Let's grab this and weld it as well. And then let's see, how big is our bulb? Our bulb is pretty big, it's two inches. Okay, so that'll give us some space. So we can even weld this together. Now I feel like it needs to be more like or we can make this a little bit smaller. Oh, I could have added the exclamation mark there. Um, I'm not loving the way this looks, but for now, let's grab these two and make it so that it fits in here. and our ornament's gonna spin. All right, let's pick our colors for the presents. So all of this can either be, so it's it looks like it's in pieces. It's in a lot of pieces. Um, but our black, I don't know. I don't know the colors yet, but you, we can change all of that. Um, let's save it. And I'm actually gonna make this so, and I wanna layer everything. So everything's gonna stand the background of, so the the one the one with the whole background is gonna be our back layer. The in the inset right here, this um, what? internal offset, I'm losing my head. That's gonna bounce up a little bit. Everything's gonna have a layer. So it's not gonna be flat. It's going to look like this. And then the hand, the background of the hand is gonna pop up. And then the black layer is gonna stand up. And then the green. So everything is, you know, moving up a little bit by using foam stickers or creating that space with our um, with our glue gun. So you'll create a dot, let it dry, and that's gonna give us the the depth that we need to add the next layer. All right, I'm excited. This I I'm gonna try to make it and see what it looks like, but um let me know what you think if that was like if you can kind of if you like understanding how i got to this place um as opposed to like i said i usually design it by myself and then i cut it i video myself putting it together and then once i have my finished product i go back and record the design space tutorial so it's totally backwards um, but this gives you more. So what happens is when I start my video, um, usually it would it would already have this end piece. 
and then I go and I recreate it so you can see this piece um, put together piece by piece as opposed to today where it's like okay well what do I want to put I'm looking for presents I'm looking for this whereas usually you would just I would tell you all right let's go get the presents these are the presents that I use all right let me know what you think I'm a little bit nervous special requests email me um, post your comments here but if you have special details files whatever and you need to send to me it's an at the all right bye guys